told you I was the best on gone marksman I ever was, but y'all didn't believe me. I don't believe it. I shot that son of a bitch right in his head. Let's take a look. I'll be some bitch. I told you. I told you. What's that there? Hey, bud. You all right there? Why is you saying nothing? Hey! Maybe he's dead or some shit. Or some sort of alien or some shit, okay? What's that he's wearing? Hey, can you hear me talking here? Hey, ain't you press my marksman shit, boy? I shot that son of a bitch from who knows how far away. Fuck, man. He ain't saying nothing. He ain't even moving. Maybe that same bull plug his ass well. He ain't dead. He's mourning. <laughs> hey, you know why my brother don't think I'm a good shot? Cause ain't nothing but a bunch of dick smelling, finger fucking assholes. Hey, dickhead. Let's get going. See what I mean? Fuck nothing. Henry, you in there, bud? Come in, Dan. It's open. Are you okay there, son? Okay, what happened? They shot Misty. Do you have any idea who it was? But I think they were brothers. They shot Misty while I was feeding her. No big deal, right? Just some good old boys out hunting. Hey, listen, I brought over some beer to share. <laughs> 
I was going to give you one, but you know what? I think you could use about three. Thank you, my friend. About as good as it gets. Yeah. Well, look at you. Y'all looking great. Come over here and then let's let's have a cold one. Let me get y'all a cold one. What do you say? Yeah, I'll take a cold one. Hey, Maria, bring us four cold ones out here, will you, baby? Maria? Maria. Pops ain't wasting no time, huh? Your friend there, old man? How's your mama? She's all right. Staying busy, you know. Maria, I want you to meet my boys. This is Larry. This is Jared. Oh, what was your name, boy? Funny, Dad. That's Hank. That's my boy, Hank. Every good trait they got from their daddy and all the fucked up stuff they got from their mama. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. <laughs> I imported her from Columbia, along with some other things to play with, if you know what I mean. Hey, Maria, you keep her from getting a heart attack. <laughs> a heart attack? Nah, no, nah, no. Nah. He still has a, uh, how you say it, a uh, boner? <laughs> very long time. And very hard to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. That's my recommendation, boy. <laughs> hey, Maria, honey, why don't you see if the males come in? I'm expecting some. <clears throat> okay. Mm -hmm. I'm expecting a very important package. Look at that important package. Look at that, boy. Oh, oh, oh. Cheers. Salute. Salute. Come on, boy. Hey, Pops. We're heading down to Harry's and get a little rowdy. Have a little fun. Why don't you come hang? No, I gotta be here for a while. I gotta run some errands for you know what I mean. Sit down, finish your beer. Sit down. Finish your beer. Good to see you, boys. You worthless pieces of shit. Hey, Drew, I got a question for you. You see the blood Jerry over there, right? You ever seen him with a girl before? Because none of us ever have. <laughs> Ignore my dickhead, brother. Boys, I gotta get back to work. I'm real busy. I... Nah, hold on, Drew. I wanna show my brother Jerry something. I see here, Jerry. Ah, oh, here's a fine. Oh, damn right. I confirmed them parts, boy! You are a disgusting rodent, Larry. Now you just kick your clothes off of me. Oh, uh, no, come uh, on, Julie. My brother's just trying to damn it. Yeah! What a real woman is. You is a real woman, ain't you? Ain't you! <laughs> well, howdy. What can I get you, boys? Julie, we'll have two cold drafts if you don't mind. You got it, Danny boy. Coming right up. Hey, Dan. How come we ain't see that pretty daughter of yours anymore? Where you hiding her at, huh? I'm keeping her away from bad influences, like you. Hell there, Dan. I ain't no bad influence. You can show her a whole lot of stuff. That's Julie there, right, Julie? Why don't you just shut your sewer truck mouth there, Larry? You know that was just one night, and I was really drunk. As for the rest of y'all, you best behave, or I'll have the owner just eject y'all. Oh, now come on, Julie. You don't need to eject us. If I got something here you can erect. <laughs> <laughs> Now that's a real nice way to be talking to a lady now. He didn't mean anything by it. 
Just having some fun with y'all, that's all. Yeah, Dan. Why don't you do me a favor and bring that pretty daughter of yours around more? The only time I get to see her is at that gas station where she works at. Now, if she would uh just go out with me one of these days, I can break her in just right if you get my meaning. You know, so much should really teach you some manner. You know, you're kind of stuck on that no brain train to get my meaning. Now, what in the world are you trying to say there, Dan? You saying that you're stupid. Now, I do take offense to that, Dan. You mean you're saying I'm stuck on some train with no brain? That's, that's downright mean, Dan. Yeah, but is it true? Now, I don't presume that you're going to be the one teaching me those manners, do you? You know, I spent two years in now. I seen weasels like you come and go all the time. So why don't you get your ass back over that table before I use my cane to make a flagpole out of it? Oh, yeah? You son of a... What do you do, you crippled old fuck, huh? <laughs> Hello? Sheriff? Fucking priest. Or monk, I'm gonna show you about getting involved in my business, boy. Come on, get up. Get up. Come on, let's get This ain't over, you son of a bitch! Called about a disturbance? Yes, Sheriff. Look what they did to my store. They fight, they break things. Who's they? The Chesney boys. Chesney boys? You really need to do something about those boys, Sheriff. All right. We'll make a report. Can't guarantee anything. What do you mean, Sheriff? You gotta do something. Them boys are always causing trouble in here. They harass us, terrorize us, and they disrespect us all the time. All right, get the report in, and I'll have a talk with the boys. You all right there, Dan? Yeah, I'm all right. You need some medical care? Just do something about those chest needles. OK. So, where'd you learn to fight like that? The monastery. My parents put me there when I was nine years old. No kidding. So you're a monk? Somewhat. It's a long story. So, when they put you in the monastery at that age, is it like being in an orphanage? Not exactly. But it was the best that can happen to me. Well, I want to thank you for bailing me out back there. It's only my godly duty, my friend. So, that's what monks do in your country? Fight? Only in a dire emergency, like a life or a death situation. Well, you have to be careful, you hear? The Chesney boys are real mad and out for revenge. I don't think the sheriff's going to do anything about it. They can choose their own destiny, like the rest of us. You know, Henry saved my butt today. 
Really? How so? Well, the Chesney boys came in causing trouble at Harry's today. And they picked a fight with me. Henry here gave Larry a beating that he's not soon to forget. Oh, those Chesney boys. Something has to be done about those boys. They're the worst. I know that stupid Larry comes to the gas station every day where I work just to ask me out. I hope you say no. Are you kidding? I'd rather date a toad than that loser. <laughs> You know, Henry here's a monk. Really? A real live monk? You don't look like a monk. What kind of a monk are you? Well, as I told my friend Dan here, I am somewhat of a monk. I was raised in a monastery in my country. It's a long story. So you're a part-time monk, not a full-time monk? You can say that. Henry, you haven't touched your chicken. Is it cooked okay, hon? It tastes fine to me. Do you not like chicken? I'm sorry. I don't eat meat. Dan, why didn't you tell me? I could have prepared something else. I didn't know. We never even discussed it. No, really. It's okay. The rice and the peas are delicious. How long have you been in this country? Two years. Do you miss home? Yes. But America is my home now. And I could not be happier. Well, America has its problems too, believe me. To me, it's still the happiest place in the world. What do you like about it? The people. People like yourselves, who are beautiful and gracious. That is what makes the country what it is. Oh, Dan, I love him. We adopt you. Mom. He means people not like the Chesneys. Ashley? Hi! I'm sorry, I was not prepared. <laughs> no, no, you Um, my parents wanted me to give you this. It's first with fruit. It's a family favorite of ours. Um, no meat, I promise. If you're all alone? Yes. I enjoy the peacefulness and the nature. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh, the birds, the trees. It's so beautiful out here. I'm going to take this inside. Will you have some with me? Oh, no, no. I've had way too many grits. <laughs> I guess I'll be going now. Bye. Oh, no need. See you later. Oh, um, uh, hold on. Yes? Will you go to the movies with me? Sure. When? Uh, tomorrow night. Okay. I'll pick you up at seven. Okay. 
see you then. Okay. Smokes. Hey, where's uh, where's Julie today? She's out sick, sick and tired of people grabbing her ass all the time. <laughs> It'll be twenty four dollars and fifty cents, boys. Oh, I know, Harry. Just put on our tab. You know we're good for it. Nope. You already owe three hundred and seventy five dollars. What's it gonna be? We don't have any money. Then you can't buy nothing. I mean, Harry, you used to be a nice old man. You're some stingy little fuck. Get out of my store. Okay. We'll get out. Get out of your store, Grab that there stuff, boy. We'll take this, too. We have a robbery in progress here at Harry's. Please send the sheriff. You gonna do something about these Chesney, Sheriff? What happened, Harry? What happened? They came in here, couldn't pay for their stuff, Knocked my stand over and ran out with the merchandise. All three of them? Just Larry and Hank. All right. We'll make a report. That's about all we can do for now, Harry. Come on, Sheriff. That's what you always do. You write stuff and make reports. Can't you arrest these boys for robbery? They stole my merchandise. Tell you what I'll do, Harry. What'd they take? How much was it? Let me check. $24.50. Here, Harry. They should cover it. You're paying their bill? No big deal. They're just rowdy boys, you know. Well, you know, Sheriff, they, uh, they owe me over $300. All right. I'll get that to you as well. Let's just relax. And I'll have a talk with the boys, as I said. Okay? Mrs. Coulter. Hi, Henry. Come in. I'll get Ashley for you. Honey, Ash, come on out. Hi, Henry. Are we ready to go? No. I must speak with your father first. Okay. Is everything all right? Your father, please. Mom? I'll get him, honey. 
he's right over here. Um, if you don't want to go, it's okay. We could... Dan. Hi. Uh, I request your permission to take your daughter to a movie tonight. Well, sure, yeah. I knew all about it. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Shall we? Yeah. Have her home at a decent hour. Adorable. Where's your car? I don't have a car. We can use that. Oh. You were gonna take me on your bike? That's really sweet, but, uh, where would I sit? On the front bar. We do that all the time in my country. Um, let's take my car. I just love American movies. Mm. Ashley? What a surprise. Leo, you just had to be back there. And get your stinking feet down. Aren't you going to introduce us to your date? No, it's none of your business. Hi. My name is Henri Sharma. Nice to meet you. You're who? Henry Sharman? You mean Sharman like the toilet tissues? Quit being a jerk, Leo. Give me that damn popcorn. Let's find another seat. Watch this. Hello? Yeah. Chris. <sighs> Where are you? Chris? Chris! Hey. Big D. Guess is at the movies with your future now? girlfriend. Yeah. Henry Sharman. Yeah, the, the Hindu from the cabin. You were an acquaintance of my father's. It was before he blew yeah. his face off. You remember that, Big D? Oh, and they're all over each other. What do you want with my son? Ashley, I... I wanted to thank you for our good time tonight. You had a good time? I think it'd be proper for a good night kiss now. Okay. That's a good night kiss? That's a good night kiss. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. need to start doing some work around here. Not just sitting around all day. Yeah, we'll get to it one of these days, Mom. 
Hey, can we get some more beer around here, man? Get it yourself. Now, I told y'all when your daddy left, you need to start doing stuff around here. You shut up. You boys been behaving yourselves? Cause I've been hearing some crazy things about this bunch. Oh, we're behaving, Sheriff. Don't you pay us no mind. We're just sitting here, enjoying life. Is your mama in? Yep. Go on in, Sheriff. Aw, oh, man, what the hell's the problem with you, boy? You ain't been yourself all day today. Wonder why. Hmm. Look, you need to move on. Forget about her. You're doing something else right now. Or you could fight for her, dummy. Man, I've been dreaming about her since we were kids. We even had classes together. Classes? You went to school? I don't recall that at all. Man, what the fuck does he got that I don't? Oh, I don't know. Maybe a bigger dick. We'll see about that. About what? Your dick? Yeah, what you gonna do? Measure it, take a picture of it, and send it to her? Oh, better yet, you can post it on Facebook. Permanent heartbreak. So, how's the missus doing? You know, still going through that chemo, which is fun. Cancer's a bitch. Yeah. There is a, uh, an article in the paper here I'm sure you don't want to see. Well, then throw it away. Gladly.
Are you sure? I mean, isn't it against your culture or something? Hey, you sons of bitches. How the heck you doing? Hey, Daddy. What are you doing here? Came to see y'all and your mama, too. I got a question for you, though. What's the sheriff's car doing in the driveway? Got a whole lot of quiet on that, huh? I get it. I know what's going on. She's in there banging the sheriff, isn't she? <laughs> I'll show him. Dad, don't don't even think about it. Get out of my way, no, son. No, no. Get out of my way, son. No, you've been gone a long time. Come on, old man. Just let it be. No, Jared. Go fuck him up, Pops. There, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Look, I, I, I ain't gonna let you get hurt for nothing worse. You ain't supposed to be coming back around here no more, remember? Yeah, I remember. Just go home. A bit drunk. Tell you what. You bring me a tall boy, I'll sit right here. You know I can drink and drive. Bring me a tall boy. Yeah. Uh -uh. She's fucking this shit. I can't believe it. I wouldn't fucking share. You got any chewing tobacco? Sure. Four forty-nine. That's the one. Keep the change, pretty lady. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Bye. What you need, Larry? Ah, uh, you know what I need? You just ain't give it to me yet. I'm busy, Larry. I know, I know. I was just being, you know. Just being what? A jerk? Because that's what you are, you know. You come in here every single day. That ain't right. You know how I feel about you. It don't matter because I don't feel the same way about you. Listen. Can I get the key to the bathroom? Thanks. Hey, Ashley. How you doing? Let me have a couple packs of my smokes, please. Anything else for you? A couple of them scratch-offs. Okay. All right, you have a blessed day, darling. Thank you. Hi, how you doing? Hi. Can I get 20 on pump two, please? Sure. Thank you. I can't get the bathroom door open. Well, what do you mean? That's the key. I know it's the key. I can't get it open. Well, did you try jiggling it? Because sometimes you have to jiggle it. Yeah, I done did that already. It won't open. I really need to go. Give me the damn key. Whoa. 
Well, hell. I know what happened there. Thank you. Get Get I'll need a full statement from her when she gets better. I'll call you later on today. How many times did we plead with you to do something about those Chesneys? How many times, Sheriff? Maggie, we do what we can within the means of the law. You call this within the means of the law? They raped and beat my daughter, and we all know who did it. You are us now. Okay? Are you okay? That sheriff should be ashamed of himself. He knows who did this. Well, maybe the sheriff will finally come to his senses and arrest that boy. Oh, please. He lets those boys get away with murder. You know, I don't know why he's so lenient on those monsters. Look, Maggie, I know how upset you are right now, but Ashley's going to get the very best care there is. She's going to be fine. She will recover from this, Maggie, I promise. No, Judy. Nobody ever really recovers from such a thing. My daughter's gonna be scarred for life. Look, I'm gonna go back and get something to help relax you, okay? I'll be right back. This looks great, honey. Thank you. How are you today? You feeling okay? I'm tired. That chemo's got my body half numb and my stomach can't keep anything down. Oh, honey, you forgot the bread. I'm sorry. Thank you. <coughs> mm. 
Oh, you got that? I was gonna get it. That's all right. in and have some breakfast with us. Got you a plate. Morning, boss. Hey, you want some breakfast? Oh, uh, no thanks. I already had some. So, what news, bud? Oh, well, I uh, took the initiative to make up that report. You know, that one on that rape case. Oh, we have to speak to the victim first. Oh, I don't took care of that. It's done. Was it that Coulter girl that was raped? Yes, ma'am. Ashley Coulter. Did you get the perpetrator? No. I thought... Uh... You filled out that report without talking to me first. I thought you'd appreciate that. I mean, I typed it all up and I submitted it. No problem. We need to go. We're gonna be late. Do me a favor. Sure. What is it? Don't submit any more reports without me knowing. Something we do together. Yeah, sure. Can I ask you a question? Sure. I went to Harris the other day and ran into him. <coughs> yeah. How come you never filed that report? No need. It wasn't a big deal. You saw it, you were there. Yeah, but I'm a little curious about uh why you paid for all that merchandise that was stolen? Let's just say it was an act of charity and leave it at that, okay? Yeah, sure. need to split up here if we're gonna get anything. And you, you keep that damn thing pointed away from me. You almost blew my head off last what time. What are you talking about? You're right my way. Mm-hmm. Right. What the hell? Come on this way. All right, Hank. Why don't you go right with Larry? I'll go left. Remember, we we'll meet right back here in a few hours. Three to be exact. Got it? Hell yeah! Let's do Woo! it, boy! Yeah! <laughs> This is fucking creepy.
little lost. What do you want? I'm looking for your brother Larry. Yeah? What for? It's personal. Oh. This wouldn't be regarding Ashley Cota now, would it? You know, that's his girl. Where is he? Somewhere in the woods. Shouldn't have never tried to take his girl. Come to think of it, she got what she deserved, hooking up with a guy like you. Why don't you just go back home before you get hurt out here? What the fuck is your deal? I said, get! I don't want to hurt you. You what? You what, motherfucker? I have to take Larry. Why? You know why. You raped and beat Ashley Coulter. I have no choice, honey. What do you mean? You have no choice. There's too much evidence. I have to do it. Connie, it's best you tell me where he is. Please. Well. He's out hunting with his brothers. Now you know Ashley was his girl. You know, she probably instigated it by punching him or something or slapping him and then they got into a big quarrel and they got in a fight. No, Connie, he raped her. He beat her to a pulp. And then left her in the gas station bathroom. Honey, I don't want to do this. Sorry. Fine. Yes. Fine. But you will never see me again. Do you hear me? No. Get out. You go on to your ill wife you care so much for, and you stay there. Never mention her. Ever. Okay, Connie. Fuck is he? 
Hank! The fuck do you want? Y'all gonna pay for what you did to my girl. This girl. Look here. Forget about her. She ain't never been your girl. It's Larry's girl. Get it? No. It's the part of the way. This is not concern you. <laughs> On the contrary, Larry here is my brother from another mother. You got it? Move now. Wanna fight? I'll make you a deal. Deal is if you beat me, he's all yours. But if I beat you, you leave him alone, you leave this girl alone forever. I'll make you a better deal. You turn yourself in for what you did. And we don't have to fight. <sighs> Hold on. I'll make this epic. Follow me. Hey, Leo. You gonna fight? Give me your gun. Go on and kick his ass!
Hello? Is this an emergency? Yes. Yes. I'm hurt bad. I've been attacked. I think my brothers are in danger. Send a sheriff. Where are you calling from? At Northwoods, at the abandoned house. It was that Hindu that did this. What's your name? J Jared Chesney, goddamn. Oh, Jared. I know you. Hang in there. I'll dispatch the sheriff. Hurry the fuck up. Alpha 320. Alpha 320. Alpha 320. Sheriff. Jared Chesney called in an emergency, claiming that he has been attacked and his brother's lives are in danger. Where is he? North Woods at the abandoned house. He said, and I quote, it was the Hindu that did this. We're on our way. The Hindu. <laughs> I knew them Chesneys was going to get theirs. Well, you know, he's probably after Larry. Because of Larry, now they're all getting beaten. <laughs> you know, it takes a lot of piss off a of Hindu. That whole religion of peace and everything. Remember that Gandhi fella? <laughs> Shit. Chesneys can provoke Jesus himself with their evilness. Hey, you know what? I have an idea. Are you hungry? Yeah, but... What you say we get a couple of sandwiches before we head to Northwoods? Check out the sights. <laughs> <laughs> Ringside seats, buddy. Yeah, sounds good. Jimmy. Jake's daughter? Come here. Well, yeah, Dad. She See that photo next to the TV well, there? The I do. Well, it's distracting as hell. Can you move it away from that? Sure thing. You sure can't go out there. Good lad. No, but I can get word to her. There's a neighbor kid out there I made friends with. He comes to town most every day. Plan on having her slip out and meet you someplace. If I can find a safe place. Well, I know the place. Jake wouldn't do anything even if he caught you. Where? I'm back in the marshal's office. What? Well, the famous place in town. <laughs> Let's go get this on this. 
Sir! Sir! He did this! He attacked my brothers too! What caused this? I don't know. You all crazy or some shit? Where's your brothers at? They're out in the woods. They've been attacked too. Better call for them. Yeah, I'll find a weapon for them. Aren't you getting arrested for what he did? Turn around, please. Sudden. Turn around. Sheriff, what are you doing? Larry Chestnut, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you. Do you understand your rights, Larry? But she was my girl! She was my property! Not anymore. And now for a shocking local report. A brutal sexual assault took place at a local gas station yesterday afternoon, right here in our own hometown, and the community is stunned. It seems that Ashley Coulter, a part-time employee at the gas station at Rollins and Federal Highway, was assisting a customer to open the bathroom door. The customer then pushed her into the bathroom and sexually assaulted and beat her mercilessly. The attacker then left her in the bathroom. Another customer found her there practically unconscious and called 911. The sheriff's office already disclosed the identity of the attacker as Larry Chesney, a local resident who lives about three miles from this gas station. Chesney has been arrested and is in custody awaiting trial. This is a small, tight-knit community where people are, for the most part, friendly and cordial to one another. Things like this aren't supposed to happen here.
while we're stopping. Can you excuse me for a minute? I need to make a phone call. Alone. Yeah, sure. years, you simply all of a sudden decide you need to talk to Dad. Wow, nothing's changed. You're still a dick. I put Dad on the phone, please. No, things have changed, okay? You have no idea what's going on around here. Listen, you little measly prick. Put him on the phone. <sighs> all right, this is on you. Dad! Hold on. Dad, your other son is on the phone. I don't have another son. You hear that? He doesn't have another son. Give him the fucking phone, asshole. Here. You deal with him. Yeah. Dad is warned. Okay. Now look, I know you won't have anything to do with me, and I fucked up. But I really need to tell you something. Really? Twenty years in the making. I'm not interested. Dad, please, let me say what I have to say, and I won't bother you anymore, please. Listen. He's gone, Dad. Emily passed away. When? Now. This morning. She died in hospice. Cancer got the best of her, Dad. I know. I found you always were, Emily. That's why I decided to call and tell you. I'll be on my way and I will never bother you again. Bye. Son? I haven't heard that in 20 years. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, son. No, Dad. Apology not accepted. It is what it is. I was always a fucker. And that's putting it mildly. I don't know what to say, son. You don't have to say anything, Dad. Listen, am I gonna see you again? Or do I have to wait another 20 years? Only if you buy the beer, Dad. <laughs> Acknowledge, son. Acknowledged. Should I get your old room ready? Yes, Dad. Working on it. ask you something, you old fucker. How long you plan on being deputy? Forever? What do you mean? I mean, I'm going home. 
You're leaving. That's right, Sheriff. I'm leaving. <laughs> Put your seatbelt on. Let's go. I'll give you a ticket. If that don't beat all. <laughs>